Steve Severs for Bonic Buzz, and this is David. And we're here at the red carpet of the Andy Awards. And what is the Andy Awards, David? The Andy Awards is a celebration of everything animation. Woo! Yeah. If you're passionate about animation, stay tuned. We'll be talking to people on the red carpet. So uh, you got to play Tinkerbell for, for the animators, right? Yes. Okay. I was cast in the role, and Mark Davis, the one of the nine old men of Disney, designed Tinkerbell, and they chose me in the part, put me out on Sound stage one. You know why it was called Sound Stage One? No, I don't. Please. Because they only had one sound stage back then. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and uh, so I would. I stepped out in front of the camera, and they told me what they wanted to do in the scene, mm -hmm. and I would work it out. And they would say, you know, make your mark over here, or hit the mark over there, or whatever. But I played her as if she were about an eight or nine year old girl. Oh, that makes and, sense. And you know when she steps on the mirror, mm -hmm. lands on the mirror yeah. in, in oops, oops sorry. sorry, in the, uh, on Wendy's dresser. Yes. Well, now they're saying she's preening. No, what I did was, she had never seen a mirror before. Let's, oh, that makes sense. And she thinks, oh my, look at me, is that how I look? So, and you know, we are coming up to the 65th anniversary mm -hmm. of Peter Pan in three days. Oh, I love it. And it's amazing that so many new generations fall in love with Tinkerbell, and it's lots of thanks to you. you know? They have good taste. Yes. You know, that's the way I feel about it. And one of the things that <clears throat> years later when I was doing something else for, um, Mark Davis, mm -hmm. I said to him, do you realize that you are the only one who was daring enough to take a character and show her underpants? Uh, I didn't think about that either. <laughs> and, and do you know what he said? What? Did you notice they're always clean? <laughs> <laughs> but wow. you know, I also did the Red-Headed Mermaid. Oh, okay. Yes, and when I changed my career there into voiceovers, mm -hmm. doing her. <clears throat> but he gave me, and remember she said, Oh, Peter, we're so happy to see you. That's little old me. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Yes, it is cool. Well, I could talk to you all night, but I'm going to let you go because I'm a huge Disney fan. So thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.